I want to kind of perpetuate a different kind of beauty. Like you're not really sure if what you're seeing is terribly beautiful or if it's terribly ugly. My name is Kembra and I'm the lead singer in the Voluptuous Horror of Karen Black. We're based in New York City and um, what was the other part of the question? Well, I'm kind of like the movie director in the, in the band. I mean, I sort of lay down the foundation and I make the props and costumes and I do my best to rehearse with everyone, but it's inevitable that like everything goes wrong mm -hmm. and like everyone screws up or falls down and does what they feel like doing, mm -hmm. you know. I do the best to um, kind of explain the direction I want to go in, like I'll say, um, can you act like Burt Reynolds? Um, get move like Burt Reynolds, or, or like, this is an Anne Margaret type of thing, you know? Mm -hmm. This is an Anne Margaret type of move. And it's like, all the props and the costumes are sort of like a vocabulary that keeps growing and growing. Like the beginning, we had, um, well, we only had a couple of songs, and now we have like 25 numbers. You know, and each song has a different little skit that goes along with it. What happens when you come to the Karen Black show is, is that, is that like, you see um, a lot of naked bodies, but it, start, it starts to not matter after a while, I think. And I, and I, I would hope that that's what, that's what I want to put across, because that's what I feel like anyways. I feel like I'd like to sort of demystify the female, well, because I'm a girl, a woman, a female, and I'd, I'd, I'd certainly like to have my body parts a little bit demystified and some of the, um, you know, uh, it's cert being nude on stage or semi-nude has certainly made me a lot more comfortable for, in a strange way. I started having a lot of reoccurring dreams about being abducted by aliens, and whether or not it really happened, uh, I don't, it's like irrelevant. I ended up writing a bunch of songs about it, and one of them was called Am I Blue. Right before a show, I, I'm always, you know, I'm just lying around in my um, house thinking about the thousand ways I'm going to die on stage, like whether it be my neck snapping when I'm standing on my head during the O Diane piece, where I get the egg cracked on my vulva. I think I, my neck is going to snap, or this is going to happen, or that's going to happen. But you know, I've had such a miserable life here. I mean, in New York City, and like everything has happened to me, as far as violent things or me getting physically hurt. I really feel like you know, losing a prop or me falling down on stage is pretty much like a lot worse has happened. I inhaled a, a whole handful of this shaved plastic and it was like drowning. I couldn't breathe and I died. I just died. I think the media uses these very young girls as kind of, it kind of like, their image is very um, cute unfortunately gets to be like fodder you know like I remember all the boys in the neighborhood were like all teasing each other about how they're gonna go to a riot girls meeting so they could pick up the girls and stuff and it just seemed very corny I, I like to have special guests do, do the um, excuse me hello beautiful label okay Almost. Well, right now is not a really good time because we're making a movie or a TV show.